Okay, so basically what I'm trying to do is to connect my Epson L3110 printer to a Huawei router. This is Huawei Ecolife HG8145 V5 router given by Time Internet. So what I do is connect this printer through USB B to A, plug it in there behind the router and then when you plug it in correctly and turn on the printer you'll see that the USB light turns on. That means the printer is connected. So this is how you connect your um, network printer Epson L3110 to a, a Windows computer. This is Windows 11. You go to the control panel and then you find your printers and scanners. You click on add a device and it's going to start searching for the printer but it's not going to show up so I click on add manually and then I have to click on this one. Select a shared printer by name. So what I have to do is I have to type in the IP of the router This is the gateway and then this is the internet printing protocol port number for Epson printers. So you have to click that and then you have to type printers and then you have to um, type in the exact number of your, not the number, the, the name of your printer which you can find on your router. So I'll show you how. You connect to your Huawei router. Its gateway is 192.168.100.1. Enter, and then you type in your admin You go in there. And this is the most confusing part. If you want to see your printer, you actually have to click this USB here. And then it'll show you USB home sharing, enable printer and storage sharing. So you actually have to check this in order to see this name of the printer pop up. So what you have to do is you have to copy this and then go back to your add printer page and then here you type in you paste the name of the printer so it's 192.168.100.1 colon 631 this is the internet um, printing protocol number for Epson, Epson printers and then type printers slash and then the name of your, ex your exact name of the, the printer so after you do that, you click on next, and then you have to have your uh, printer driver already installed, which you can download from the epson.com. Uh, and then you can, if you have correctly installed your driver, it'll show, show up on this page. And then you choose that as the driver, click on OK. connecting there you go you've successfully added L3110 series on this network printer so if you want to print a test page you can go ahead and do that I've already tested it it works fine click on finish and then if you go back to your yeah, printers list you'll see this name L3110 series on HTTP yeah this and I don't know how to change the name of this um, printer name so good luck if you wanna change that next I'll show you how you can do this on on a Mac 
Okay, so this is the Mac side. On Mac, it's a little bit more confusing. So again, just I did on the Windows computer. I came here and clicked on USB, and then I see that this one is checked already. Make sure that you do that first, and then I copy this. Yeah, copy. And then what I need to do next is open my system settings go to printers and scanners click on add printer and then here what you have to do is you have to right click on this thing and click on customize toolbar and here you can see that there's an advanced setting that doesn't show by default. You have to add it here, then you have to click on there. It's going to start searching for printers, and then I'm pretty sure it's not going to show anything. So if you wait for a while, you'll see this screen, and then what you have to do is you have to click on Internet Printing Protocol HTTP. And then you have to type in the exact same address that we did on the Windows laptop. So 192.168.100.1 colon 631 slash printers slash and then copy paste uh, what you copied from here so there you go and then I'm gonna name this oops Epson wireless and then I'm going to choose a driver if I've already installed the driver You'll see it there if you type 3110. So I'm going to choose this one as the driver to install. Click on Add. And then I think it's done already. So, yep, there you go. Epson Wireless. So, yeah, simple as that. So I probably don't need to use this anymore. This is when I uh, plug in my USB. Um, cable to my computer I can use this one otherwise I can use the wireless printing feature